everybody, it's me Shelly K80. I wanted to stop by and say hello. I wanted to give a shout out. Well, what is it? <laughs> Excuse me. Lava Gump. I got my Dodger shirt on, girl. What's up? I saw the video and I was like, oh, that's so cute. You know, I thought it was sweet. And then I noticed she was wearing a Dodger shirt and I was like, I got that same fucking shirt. So I thought I'd give her a shout out. She just did a video response to uh, that my last video, which did very well in just a couple of days, you know. And somebody was all like, well, um, why has this not gone viral yet? And I think about it and I'm all like, I don't know if I want it to be viral or not. <laughs> but it was fun though, it was, it was, and I got a lot of good comments back, but what I wanted to do was, oh man, YouTube fucking blows, dude. I got a, okay, I did a, a little video, and uh, it was called Keisha and Cucumbers of Better Than Men, Storytime with Shelly K80, and it was cute, it was just me reading a book that I found funny. Um, but, you know, we're talking about that Keisha chick. And I'm going to go over, because if you didn't read it, and you're only reading this because Keisha's in the title, <laughs> this shit is so hilarious, cuz, okay? <laughs> okay, shout out, first of all, and I hope I'm saying it right, uh, no, Rallycon, no Rallycon, no Rallycon. Anyways, Rallycon goes, starts off with, I don't like Keisha either, but her songs are pretty damn catchy. I would spend money on the bitch, but I don't change the radio station when it comes on. Okay, yeah, I ain't buying her CD, but I burn a copy just to own it. And when I'm trash, I bang out to that shit. But I loved your comment. I think we all find it catchy and party-ish, but fuck spending uh, my cash on a one-hit wonder, right? Okay, so that's what I said. So, Neuralicon... Uh, came back and was like, I already downloaded that shit for free. <laughs> a couple good songs, if you can call them that. <laughs> She's so gross. I just imagine that her vag smells like ashtray and old cheese or something. And <laughs> I'm like, oh Lord Jesus and Mary. <laughs> I'm reading that in my next vlog because that shit is so fucking funny. Funky old blue cheese, stinky cheese smell, and her bikini looks like a cheese grater was used to save that shit, probably, and laughing my ass off. And he was like, ha ha ha, I know it's true. She opens her legs and an Arby sign pops out promoting roast beef and cheddar sandwiches. And I was like, oh my god. This dude, this girl or guy was so on it more than me because it was so, I laughed so hard reading all that and I had to like actually just talk about it because like to me I'm like, I'm like who is she and where the fuck did she come from and I'm like, is she like, she looks like and seems like, like, you know that show Bad Girl Club Reject or she looks like a Spice Girl Reject, like updated or, or um, a pussycat dolls reject. That's what she like reminds me of. And I'm just like, I'm not digging her music, but I just had to talk about that. I thought that was funny. Also, I was gonna share with you, you know, uh, besides the fact that I just miss my boyfriend so much. He got moved to, you know, the regular jail, and I'm wanting him to call her, write me. I just miss him, so I'm doing like all kinds of dumb shit, you know. Um, I wanted to show you my jar. I'm saving uh, all my pennies for uh, breast cancer in October. And as soon as I collect all the pennies, I am going to match it with just regular cash and just donate to the Coleman Grant. Uh, we should all donate or help some kind of cause, uh, whether it be, you know, you know, Chile right now or whatever country's getting a goddamn earthquake. Oh my god, like every day, like literally every fucking day, some shit is going down somewhere. Every day I wake up and I'm like, what? Okay, an earthquake happened. Okay, yeah, okay, it had happened. But then, like, the next day, something else happened. And then, like, the next day, like, something else happened. Like, some, oh, my God. I'm like, yeah, okay, but this is what I donated to. So, anyways, uh, I had, I told you, you know, like, I hadn't, you know, been feeling good because, um, 
I had to get a couple of cavities filled, you know, and I got those filled and everything. And I'm like, you know, hey, Dad, you can take me to the store and just get me, like, some soft foods to eat on for a couple of days, okay? And, he, you know, he's like, okay, whatever. It really was just a ploy him to buy me free food. So, anyways, so we're shopping around, and I go get, like, some Powerade, you know, because I love Powerade. So, anyways, and if you like Powerade, uh, tell me you like Powerade. Tell me what your favorite flavor is. I love orange. I don't know why. I love orange every fucking thing, okay? You know, so anyway, so we're in the store, and, like, the Powerade is, like, right next to the beer. So, like, my dad is, like, he was, like, do you want some Miller Lite? And I was, like, oh, thank you, Jesus. My father asked to buy me a, a fucking some beer, thinking he's, like, going to pick me up, like, a six-pack, right? And I'm, all like, I mean, you know, my teeth and my lip is all, like, fat, like, all out there. Like, I got, like, I'm rocking, like, like, held in the car making fun with my dad. I'm, like, daddy. And he was, like, will you just shut the fuck up? So anyways, okay, okay, so like we're in the beer aisle and there's like a beer guy and he looks like the Hi Miller High Life dude, right? Like, and he was actually unloading Miller High Life, right? And he's all like, you know, so he's asking me, he's like, you know, do you want some beer? And I'm all like, I guess so, you know, I'd like to have some Miller Light in the house because I don't like Bud Light. I like Miller Light. I grew up on Miller Light. I fucking love Miller Light. Uh. I love Miller Lite. That's fucking delicious. And that one's hot, okay? So anyways, and so the Miller High Life looking guy turns around and he's all like, the best deal is the 18 pack, okay? And I'm all like, cool, man. And, I and I'm all like, what do you like, the Miller High Life guy? And he's... Like, he's all like, oh, you so wrong for that, because he's holding, like, some hot Miller High Life, and I'm all like, what are you trying to do to my father, you know, tell him to buy me an 18-pack of Miller Light. He's like, I'm letting him know the best deal, and my father's looking at him, he was like, well, they're, they're 16 ounces, and then the guy's like, yeah, but that's the best deal, but, you know, you, you ain't got to get that, like, he's not trying to make my dad buy it, but I was all like, you know, Dad, you don't have to get that much. He was all like, well, no, I will drink Miller Light if there's in the house, but, uh, you know, and I'm like, yeah, but, Dad, they're tall boys. They're fucking tall boys. My dad, ne he never drank a tall boy in his life, and he's like, oh, I'll drink them if they're in the house, you know, so, I love that. The beard got hooked it up, bitch, so, what's your, it's a tall beer, motherfucker, okay? I don't care what race you are, or who you are, but you should always know what a fucking tall boy is. So, on that note, I'll leave it alone there, but I wanted to give a shout out to Lava Gump, and, <sighs> It could be Noralicon. I don't know, but hey, <laughs> next time. Uh, I love you guys. Bitch Hollywood. Peace.